The report is uh, available now from the VaultFAS website, which is vaultfast.me. Um, I'm Hardeep Matharu. I'm a journalist specialising in justice and social affairs, and I tweet at Hardeep underscore Matharu. I think it's a really exciting and stimulating uh, place to be involved with. So it's, I would say, a startup think tank which looks into drugs policy uh, across um, not even just the UK, but internationally. But for me, it's really trying to make people think. It's trying to go under the surface and say the issues around drugs are not black and white. So you have to come up with more nuanced approaches to look at what's actually happening and what will actually work to reduce harm um, and to sort of achieve the things you want to. It's No Shelter that was published on the Waltfast website yesterday, and it's really my investigation into looking at how rough sleepers are using the psychoactive drug spice and how that's really keeping them in this futile cycle on the streets. So uh, spice is a synthetic cannabinoid receptor agonist. It's a group of drugs um, which have so many different chemicals in them. Um, it's very hard to know what people are smoking when they're taking it. So the psychoactive substances ban made uh, the selling, of, selling and distribution of spice illegal last year. So before that act came into place, uh, head shops, as they were called, uh, were there and you could buy packets of spice over the counter. So it seems that since that legislation has come into place, uh, head shops have had to shut down, and it's probably meant that young people who might be quite curious and wanting to try out spice and buy it, um, that's probably stopped. But the thing is that legislation hasn't prevented um, the supply of this drug to some of the most vulnerable in our society, namely rough sleepers on the streets and inmates in our prisons. And so really, the Psychoactive Substances Act of last year has pushed the market for spice underground. So now it's more readily available on the streets than ever. And of course, we've got rough sleeping uh, rising all, all across cities in this country. So you've really got this toxic mix of, you've got this really receptive uh, group that is looking for a psychological kosh to sort of get through their existence day to day. And you've got a massive supply that is meeting that massive demand. And it's just this cycle. And I guess what the, my report is really looking at is as soon as people are using spice, it's so addictive that they're just constantly looking for it and can't really think about anything else.